What do you mean by red card? So basically, guys, the way it works with Sidemen, we've explained it a million times. We all take videos each. So like a ho like the, the holiday video, Josh took. He organized it. Hence why he was host as well. Sometimes the host is also involved. Like uh, the, the latest hotel video I hosted, but I'm also in it. Uh, yesterday's video I hosted. We have like a list of how many videos everyone's done. So like JJ's actually done the most videos. But when you're late by half an hour to a shoot or 15 minutes to an online shoot, you get a yellow card. If you get two yellow cards, you get a red card. And when you get a red card, you lose a video. So Josh could do 20 videos and I do 10. But if he gets 15 red cards, he's technically only done five videos. Even though he's done a lot more work, he's then lost 15 of them. And then we'd always try to keep it level. So like if Josh had five videos not red carded and I had 10, we would go, right, what's the next video? Josh, you have to take that. But yeah, me and Josh both have four red cards. Ethan has seven and a half red cards. Harry has eight. Vic and Toby both have 10 and a half red cards. And JJ has like 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 and a half. I'm catching up though in terms of videos. Because you guys got to remember, right? I did I did a half a red card as a yellow card. As in they have, they have seven and a half. So like the half is a yellow card. So if they get one more yellow card, they've got a red card. So is it good to have a red card? No, 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 no. Basically, for example, if, if I could do one video can you get straight red cards yes if you miss a shoot completely so like if if we do an online shoot and someone just sleeps through the entire thing you get a red card if you're late yellow card so yeah we all so yeah we all come up with an idea you know we all came up with let's do this well beta squad did it but we, we have an idea we go let's do the try not to move challenge who wants to take it someone says i'll take it or we look at the list who's got the least you do it so then that person will take it and that's how it works. Uh, what if you need to miss a shoot? If the, if the situation is reasonable, not a red card. Like JJ in camp doesn't get a red card if he misses. Because it's like, you can't expect him to. If, if Ethan has to take care of Olive, it's not a red card. Yeah, it's all about accountability. No, are you, if you're an hour late, you still get a yellow. It's a half an hour later. Because if you're literally 10 seconds late to a shoot, like 30 minutes and 10 seconds, you get a yellow. But the red cards or yellow cards are sometimes voted. So like, I'm trying to think of a situation. Someone's game might not work. And if we can tell it's not their fault, we'll have a vote and say, yeah, you, you don't get yellow. Uh, how does more sidemen work into this? Do you get credit for the work you did there? No. So the way it worked was I did more sidemen. Um, I would basically just organize the videos with a couple other people. Well, we didn't really have as many people back then to help organize. I would organize most of the videos. And then what if there's a delay with public transport? That's your fault. We allow 30 minutes for that delay. Because realistically, if it's at 1 p.m., you're aiming for 1 p.m. So you have half an hour for delays. Because you should be there on time or early, not late. Those more Simon videos, I didn't do main channel. So I just wasn't included in the rotor. I could still get a yellow card, still get a red card. But I don't really know how it worked with that. But at the same time, I didn't get any. Or I got like one or two. You're the one who tells the editor to use... JJ in the thumbnail. No, so more sidemen. I haven't. I I organize the real life videos now. I go through them and like, you know, edit them slightly in terms of getting the questions. So they'll we'll hit we'll find ideas and go all right this one cool and then I'll get sent the questions to go like get rid of this one get rid of this one get rid of this one I'll change this use this one use this one I'll do that. Hence why I end up hosting them because I've seen the questions because I've worked on it. But I don't have to organize as much in terms of. I don't come up with the well, not come up with the ideas. I don't organize the ideas anymore. So now I'm back on main channel, and I mean the thing is, I actually just like, I like organizing videos. Like I, I actually find it fun to organize videos. So realistically, when I started this, when I when I came back to the channel, I was on like I must have been on like three videos, and everyone else was on like twenty. So I'm catching up. They were gonna just give me like a median and just go right. How much is everyone on? If someone's on like 15, 16, 17, someone's on 20, they'll just go, all right, you can have 16 and carry on. But I was like, I don't really care enough to do that. So um, I'm now, I have the least videos done. I've done, I've done 12. The next lowest is Ethan on 21. So my aim is by the end of the year, I want to catch up. I'll probably still be last, but I do want to catch up. Who comes up with more Simon ideas and does the red card only apply to main channel? No. So it, it applies to all of them. The ideas, we have a few people now that we've, we've now hired a load of people so they'll then talk to us and say or mainly like they'll i'll hear a lot of them and say like don't do this don't do this use this use this use this then they'll send me the questions and i'll talk through the questions and get rid of some of them and do that and then 
That's why I end up hosting it because I've seen all the questions and worked through them and stuff. JJ seems chill about having so many red cards though. I mean, he is, but it's because he takes, he does take a lot of videos. He's taken the most videos, just he loses all of them all. So you'll make the most videos this year. Yeah, that's probably what will happen. But as I said, I like doing it. Like I actually really enjoy hosting videos and organizing videos. I actually said, like, I, I think I would happily... What I kind of want to do for... When I eventually have a kid. When I eventually have a kid. Obviously, you know how normally you would take... You'd have, like, um, like a couple weeks off or whatever. I, I would love to have more time off. But organize all the videos in that. I would love to do that. Suggestion for future hide and seeks. Don't count them on your tallies. Now, what we decided about hide and seeks. Hide and seeks actually changed recently. Hide and seeks actually changed recently. And we basically, we've always done, if you got a hide and seek, it's just the, it's just the easiest video to host, to sort. Like Mini Europe, for example, the one we did, that was Vic's video. You literally just, you have the location. That was it. That was the video. Like the day before I said, oh, do we not have outfits or anything? And then he organized outfits the last day. Like it's so easy that. So what we've now decided is you get half a video for hide and seeks and whoever's hosting them gets uh, hosting. Whoever's seeking gets half a video, which is kind of peak for JJ because we actually figured out who has the most, uh, like we figured out that basically JJ has seeked way more than anyone. Will you do more wild forfeits so people take the video seriously? No, because I don't think there's that much, there's not, there's less fun when it's that serious. Like there's a lot less fun when the video has to be taken seriously. It's why I don't think anything, yeah, anything that's like a genuine race, like a real race, isn't that fun? I'm not talking about a race across the country. I'm not talking about like a race from the desert. I'm talking more like put us in a car and it's just like a race. You won't get people talking because they'll just want to win. Now that I've said about the um, now that I've said about the hide and seeks, it shouldn't really happen. I don't know if Josh is still here. We shouldn't really have that system because it is unfair to JJ, and everyone will say, "Yeah, I'll seek," and I don't have to put in a good shift. I just it should just be if you take the video, you have to seek. I think that's I think that's the fair way. If you take the video, you see. You are also admitting hide and seek is not main channel. Nah, because we're still having a full, like, a full video. We're just saying that whoever's seeking is doing the hard work. Like, seeking in the hide and seek is long. Like, it is long in certain places. Like, the, the, it boiled down to doing notes for the edit as well. True, but now I'm thinking about it. I'm like, I, I think you just have to host if you're taking the video. I think you just have to host. That sounds fair. Yeah, because realistically, it's like, if you're taking... I could take every hide and seek and just go, all right, JJ, you have to, you have to seek. He takes half a video. He does the long part. He has to watch the edit and stuff. That would make the most sense, wouldn't it? I thought it was like that already. Uh, no, because JJ, I think JJ is the most content seeking. JJ is the most content seeking by a mile. But I understand that when you go to start, like when you start going to such large locations, it is long as hell. Or you just have a list of seekers. When I'm saying this, right, I'm talking... I think JJ has seeked like 11 times. I think like, I want to say like me, me, Josh, Harry, I think are all like somewhere between like five and eight. And then I think Toby, Vic and Ethan are at like three. 